So I want to show you something very exciting today, the first VCV Rack hardware module. This is the VCV Random module in collaboration with Nano. If you are familiar with the VCV Random, this will work the same, just with another twist to it. And of course, this version from Nano is also available for free in VCV Rack if you want to experiment with it. So I want to show you today a few fun patching ideas. We will start with some sounds and then with the video. Okay, so the random module will generate a random signal in different shapes. It has a built-in clock with a rate control, so we can change the rate of when this is happening. Right, as you can see, in this case, on the scope, I have the linear output connected. I will show you also soon enough how it works, but for now, I'm using it to generate random pitch information through the quantizer that I have here, and the voice itself is the Cascades Oscillator from After Later Audio. Let me bring it in already. I'm sending it through the After Later Waves filter, goes through the Sarajevo Delay module. Right, so basically we get a simple stepped random voltage just like you would get from a normal uh, sample and hold for example right but again we have the shape control here which lets us shape this random signal in this case to transition from one point to another linearly right so when i start bringing this in have a look on the scope hear it also how the pitch changes right so again all the way down it will be a simple stepped random voltage but then I can start shaping it right so we get a random signal but it's not just jumping from one value to another Another interesting output here is the steps, or the step output. Right, this one will divide the transitioning into steps, so it will not do this linearly, but as you can see, it will divide this um, to equal steps. Right now, of course, the shape control has also a CV input, a dedicated CV input. Right, so we can control this also with CV. Here I have, for example, the voltage block this here, the blinking lights. Right, so what I can do, I can just connect this to the shape CV input. Right, open the tenuverter here. Right, and now the shape control is modulated. Sometimes there will be more steps, sometimes less steps. Right, and if this is not enough, we have also probability control. We can add probability to the clock and add more space in between the notes with this control here, right, all the way down. There will be no changes, no probability. I can place it somewhere in the middle. I have here also, by the way, a rampage that will control the filter. Right, so again, now we have 
probability, so there is more space. We have modulation for the shape, how many steps this voltage will be divided into. Another interesting control we have is the random control. This will control the range of variation, not the actual range of the signal, but the distance the signal will jump between values. Right, so as you can see here on the scope, the jumps are quite extreme. Um, by the way, there is a switch here to switch between bipolar and unipolar. If you prefer unipolar random signals, you can also do this. I will stay with bipolar for now. Right, so you can see the jumps here are quite extreme. If I take the random all the way down, you can see we hardly get any movement. When I start bringing it up, you will see the distance or the jumps are less extreme. Right, it will stay more or less at the same place and just go a bit up, a bit down. Right, again, this is full random. And then when I start taking it down, we get less and less extreme jumps. Right, so again, in this case, I'm using this for pitch. I'm using here the STO for make noise. This is going through the Ikari filter. It will sound like this. Right. And now I can use this. I can uh, use this as a performative tool if I want. Right, adding more or less distance between the jumps. And of course, once again, I can use CV to add more variation. There is a CV input for everything, also for the random control here. So I have here again the voltage block, maybe you can see it, it's here. Right, and I'm using a signal which is more or less like a gate going up and down. Right, opening and closing. So I can use this if I take the randomness down a bit. Right, let's say that I want it to stay somewhere here. And then every once in a while it will go up to maximum and we get again the jump. So I just connect the signal, open the attenuverter. Right, so again we get a few jumps and then it will just stay somewhere. Sometimes it will be down, sometimes it will be up and it will stay in this uh, sort of range. Another thing we have here is also track and hold functionality, either with the random or with the probability. Right, again, I'm using this as pitch information or to generate a pitch sequence with the STO and the Ikari filter. Right, it will sound like this. By the way, I'm using here the smooth output, which will look like this, right? will output smooth random voltage according to the shape control. This is modulating the filter. Right, but if I go back for a second to the what I'm using here for pitch. Right, and again, this can work with the probability or with the random control. For example, with the probability, if I take it all the way down, we will get no change, right? There is no probability of change and it will just hold the last value. So all the way up, we have track it will track in this case the pitch or the random source all the way down it will hold the last value right so we have track and hold and this will work the same also with the randomness all the way down there are there is no change right all the way up there is lots of change doesn't have to be also all the way up 
Right, so again, we have track and hold. It will just hold the last value. Right, so again, I can do this with external, with an external source, with a CV input. Right, so we have track and hold functionality already built in. Now the VCV random is also an input that you can use to process external signals. A common signal to use with uh, something like this is an LFO, as you can see here on the scope, I have a triangle LFO. So we can sample this LFO at the rate of the VCV random and generate sorts of sequences or even arpeggios. Right, so this is, I will send this to the input. Right, and now you can see this is the green trace, the output from the VCV random. Let me also bring in this voice already. I have here Neoni going through the um, Vinca VCA. Right, with some folding modulation. So you can see according to the rate of the VCV random, it will sample this LFO. And I'm sending this through a quantizer, so we get sort of sequences or even arpeggiators. And this will change, of course, with the rate of the VCV random. Right, and again, the VCV random is also probability control, so we can add this aspect also to this sequence. Right, and add some probability, add some space between the notes. Right, so it's still sampling something repetitive, it's still sampling the LFO, but then we have probability for when it is really sampling this signal. So as I mentioned before, this version from Nano is pretty much the same as the VCV random in VCV rec, but it has a twist to it and that, that the linear output is internally routed to the CV inputs. There's a switch in the back where you can turn this on and off, but basically it's routed back into the CV inputs. So without connecting any cables, you can feedback modulate this module. And for now, again, I'm using it for pitch with the Coin oscillator here through the Ikari filter. Just a weird sequence for now. Right, but again, I can now feedback modulate just by turning the attenue verters here. So for example, the one for the clock, I will take the clock a bit down. Right, and open the attenue verter and then internally it will modulate itself. Right, and of course this will work with the other parameters as well, like probability, can add some movement to the probability, to the randomness, right, and of course also to the shape. Right, in this case I'm using the exponential output, you can see this here, how it affects the shape of the signal. Right, so now without connecting any cables, 
I'm feedback modulating the VCV random with itself. So again, this module, just like all other modules from Nano, is available for free in VCVREC, which is also free. I want to show you a few more ideas um, you can try with this module, and I will show you them in VCVREC. So the first one is using it as a noise source with a built-in filter and level control. Right, if I bring here the rate all the way up, right, we get basically noise. I'm using here the smooth output. And by changing the shape, I can filter this uh, noise a bit. Right, because it will smoothen it and it will sort of Lopez filter, uh, have this Lopez filter effect. Right, and then with either the random or probability controls, I can control the level. Right, all with the probability. With the random, it works a bit. Uh, a bit smoother. Right, so now for example I can use an envelope to control the amplitude I have here, Sarah of course also from Nano. Right, so this will go to the random input, open the ten inverter. Right, and we have level control, I'm sequencing the decay here with the SIG3. Right, and I can also sequence the shape, again with another row here of the sequencer. Right, so you get a noise source with a sort of a low pass effect and amplitude control. Now, by the way, the probability will work also on incoming triggers. Here I have another example. Right here I'm triggering um, the VCV random with another SIG3. You can see this here, it's going here to the input. Right, let me unmute this for a second. Right, the voice itself is uh, on a going through font. Again, all the nano modules are available for free in VCVREC, so you can experiment with them. Right, so now I can start adding probability. If I take the probability down, it will add some space and it will, again, it will affect the incoming triggers, right? I'm using the trigger input and the trigger output. So the probability will affect also external triggers. Right, another thing you can do is use it to convert um, gates into triggers. Right, this is not a big deal maybe in VCV rec, but in hardware it can be quite useful. Right, so here I have an LFO which is the gate. It's going to the trigger input, right, and from the trigger output, as you can see here on the second scope, we get triggers. So you can convert gates into triggers. There are many, many more interesting and fun ideas you can experiment with. It's pretty amazing to finally see a VCV hardware module and I'm excited to see what comes next. Thank you Nano for sponsoring this video. Cheers!